In this video, I'm gonna show you all the important FL Studio keyboard shortcuts that I think you need to learn. Let's get into it. What's up, my producer friends? I'm David with anothermonsterproductions.com. So a couple weeks ago, I did a video which was called 10 Tips for Beginner Producers and Beat Makers. And one of the tips in the video was to start learning all the keyboard shortcuts to speed up your workflow. And I got some requests to go ahead and do a tutorial on the keyboard shortcuts. So that's what this video is. Keep in mind, I'm gonna include all shortcuts that I think are important and that I personally use. And then a couple extra that I don't necessarily use, but I'm trying to implement into my productions to speed things up. I will be leaving a link in the description of this video to a document that you can download, print out, and then potentially even post it up on your, you know, behind your monitor or whatever to help you out with production. So let's get straight into it. All right, so the first few shortcuts that I wanna show you are just general FL Studio shortcuts. Uh, and the very first one that I wanna talk about is hitting the F1 key. So if we hit the F1 key, the manual for FL Studio is gonna pop up. And depending on what you're in, so for example, I'm in the playlist right now, so it's gonna jump to the playlist within the manual. And so if I were using Citrus, for example, then it would open up Citrus in the manual. And then I can go in here into the manual and search anything I want. So if I wanted to search keyboard shortcuts, there's actually a complete list of keyboard and mouse shortcuts, which you can go in here and reference this if you need to. All right, so the next couple of shortcuts that I wanna show you have to do with toggling the playlist, the channel rack, and et cetera, et cetera. So if I wanna to toggle the playlist off, right now I had it on, I would just hit F5. And then so I hit F5 again to turn it back on. If I wanna view the channel rack, I can hit F6. That'll pop up the channel rack. And then once again, I can hit F6 to get rid of it. Now keep in mind, I can also just hit escape to exit that as well. Now F7 is the piano roll. So if I hit F7, it's gonna bring the piano roll up and then I can hit F7 again to get rid of it or I can hit escape to get rid of it. And then F9 is gonna be view the mixer. So F9 will bring my mixer up and once again, I can hit escape to get rid of that or F9 to get rid of it. Another big important shortcut is Control S, which is gonna be save. So if I hit Control S and it's a new project, it's gonna bring up a, a folder where I can go ahead and save the project as whatever file name I want. If I've already saved it as a particular file name, then Control S is just gonna automatically save it. And what I like to do is just get in the habit of hitting Control S after any time I've done anything in FL Studio. So another big one is hitting spacebar, which is gonna start or stop the track, so. and then I hit spacebar again to stop it. All right, so the next keyboard shortcuts that I wanna show you have to do with the playlist and piano roll. And as you can see, I'm already in here in my playlist. So I, the way that I like to produce is primarily in the playlist. So most of the tips I'm gonna be talking about have to do with the playlist anyway. And then most of them are also transferable to the piano roll as well. The way I have my FL Studio set up right now, I have it so that it snaps to each line. So it's like snapping to the grid essentially. And if you wanna get rid of that, uh, let's say you wanna move something slightly off the grid, then I can just hit Alt and then move it, and I can move it anywhere I want off the grid. So Alt plus click to move anything anywhere. And you can also do this in the piano roll as well. The next shortcut is Control and click. And this is gonna allow us to highlight things within the piano roll. So this is gonna save us a good bit of time so we don't have to go to our select tool every time we wanna select something. And it actually works up here as well. So if I hit Control and then highlight up here, I can also highlight stuff that way as well. And then Control and click to get rid of that. Now if I highlight something and I wanna copy and paste it, uh, what I found the kind of the fastest way to do this is to go ahead and hit Shift and then drag this and then you can drag it to where you want it to go. An alternative to that is you can hit Control C, which is gonna copy it. And then of course, Control V will paste it. Now the thing about copy pasting with FL Studio is I actually have to bring this over here and then I can paste it. And then even still, sometimes it's not accurate. So another alternative to that is to hit Control B, which is gonna bring it to the next place right after. So Control B is definitely better than Control V. And then what I like to do is just hit Shift and drag and do it that way and then I can bring it wherever I want. And keep in mind, all of the shortcuts I just showed you also work within the piano roll as well. Now I just deleted a bunch of those clips, but let's say I wanna bring them back. I can hit Control Z to undo and that will undo one instance of what I just did. If I hit it again to try and undo multiple things, it just goes back to the original. So it's like undoing the undo. So if I hit Control Alt and Z, I can undo multiple times. And I can also do that in the channel rack or the piano roll. Now let's say I wanna select this, bring this over, uh, but I decide I didn't like it and it's still highlighted. I can go ahead and just hit delete on my keyboard 
to delete everything that's selected. Another really easy way to delete stuff is just to right click on your mouse. So I can right click that to get rid of it. I could also right click and hold down and it's gonna keep my delete tool. So then I can get rid of anything on there that I want. All right, so let's say that I've added quite a bit of audio on the playlist and I've got my hi-hat here and then I've, got a, I've added another hi-hat down here and I wanna go ahead and move this hi-hat next to that hi-hat. So if I hover over this track seven and then I hit shift and I, on the scroll wheel of my mouse, I bring this up, I can bring that up to where that was and then I can go in here and I can rename this hi-hat or whatever I want. Now these tools that you see up here actually have letters assigned to them. You can see as I hover over them, what each letter that is assigned to it. And this is actually kind of a quick hack. If you didn't know, any keyboard shortcut inside FL Studio, if you hover over it, is gonna show up in the top left-hand corner. So definitely something to keep in mind if you didn't know about that. But let's say that I wanna bring on the slice tool really quickly. So if I were to hit C on my keyboard, that would bring up slice. However, let me try that. So instead of bringing that up, it's actually playing a note. And the reason for that is I actually have my typing keyboard enabled to play piano on it as well. I like to keep it like that just so that I don't have to hit, hook up my MIDI keyboard or MIDI controller every time I do a session. If I just, you know, wanted to hear a note, what it sounds like, I can just hit my keyboard. So how you would get rid of that is you can just click this icon here off. This is our typing keyboard to piano keyboard. So if I turn that off, then I can hit C on the keyboard and it'll bring up my cut tool and then I can go ahead and cut stuff as I want to. Now, a couple quick shortcuts for you uh, as far as the cut tool goes. First of all, I can hit shift and then click and quickly cut something that way. Uh, and then I can also drag it down. So if I wanted to cut everything, I would just hit shift and then bring it down. It's snapped to the grid, so it cuts it very easily that way. Uh, let's say that I wanted to cut it actually off the grid a little bit. So I can hit alt and then bring it anywhere I want it. Um, so I can do it like there, there. So that way it doesn't have to be snapped to the grid. Now I can go ahead and hit B to go back to my paint tool. I can also hit P to go to my draw tool. And then if you utilize all the other shortcuts I've showed you so far in the tutorial, you shouldn't even need to know the rest of the keyboard shortcuts for these up here. So an easier way to kind of navigate through the playlist, if I click on my mouse wheel, and then I can go left, right, up, down, any direction on the playlist like that. It's just another way to quickly move around and navigate your way through your project. Now I can also hit control and then zoom in on the mouse wheel or zoom out. And then if I wanna make these tracks bigger or smaller, I can hit alt and zoom in or out on there as well. Personally, I've gotten used to the default size, so I prefer the default size on there. And once again, those all should work on the piano roll as well. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to just a couple keyboard shortcuts in the mixer and then I'll do a couple in the channel rack as well. So the first one that I wanna talk about in the mixer is that you can actually hit Alt and W to change from your decibel meter or your peak meter to waveform view. So at the moment, I don't actually have anything linked into the mixer except for on the master track, but you'll be able to see what it looks like on the master track. So let's take a listen. So then I can hit Alt W to change it back to the peak meter. I personally prefer the peak meter view just because it allows you to see the levels of everything. And then the other big mixer shortcut that you need to know is that when I highlight something on the mixer and then hit alt, and then you can use the arrow keys on your, on your keyboard to move things left or right. So right arrow key, left arrow key. So you can move stuff anywhere you want within the mixer. All right, so the last two tips that I have for you have to do with the channel rack. Personally, I really don't use the channel rack that often, uh, at least like not the grid. But in case you do, there's a couple tips. Uh, let's say that you're drawing stuff out like this. I can go ahead and hit shift, control, and then arrow keys left or right to shift stuff either left or right on here. The other thing I can do is I can hit F4 to automatically bring up a new pattern. It's gonna just go to the next available open pattern and then automatically I can go ahead and name it. Um, so that's kind of a cool little thing as well. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any other shortcuts that you feel are really important that I left out of this video. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to hit the like button. That helps out the YouTube algorithm helps me continue to grow the channel. Also drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know if the video was helpful for you. And if you really wanna help out, go ahead and hit the share button on this video and share this with your producer friends who use FL Studio. I do have a lot of other FL Studio and production related tutorials on the channel. So check all that stuff out if you're interested 
episode. Right now I'm doing tutorials once a week and those come out every weekend. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified. Also, last thing is that I do have a website with a couple packs on there. So if you want to check that stuff out, check out the packs. Uh, that will definitely help out the channel. I'm also offering one-on-one -on -one private lessons. So if you're really struggling with music production and you feel like you need a little bit of extra help, uh, definitely check that out. Also, I've got a couple of free things that I'm giving away in the description of this video as well. If you wanna check out the video I was talking about at the beginning of this tutorial with the 10 tips for beginner producers and beat makers, uh, go ahead and click somewhere on the screen now. I'll be sure to put that up and you can check that video out and I will see you guys in the next video.